Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing something a little bit interesting and that of course is what are the best years of Ninjago? Now Ninjago has been around for several years at this point. It's almost going to be celebrating its 10th anniversary and in today's video, I just wanted to go ahead and make a quick little, I guess, look back on the series and find out which one of the years for Ninjago is the absolute best. Now, of course, I already have some uh, ideas in mind as to which year could be the best one for Ninjago. And we're just going to go ahead and talk about those individually. The first one is 2015. Now, 2015 Ninjago is kind of a little bit more into Ninjago's life cycle than I guess people would expect. I mean, Ninjago had been around for four years at this point, but 2015 was a very special year for Ninjago because we got two very solid seasons with a lot of very solid sets to go along with them. First of all, we had season four, the Tournament of Elements, which is arguably one of the best Ninjago Ninjago seasons of all time and a lot of the sets for that season were very very well done too and the actual season itself was again a very very well told story it was absolutely incredible easily one of my favorite seasons and then we also got season 5 possession in 2015 as well for the summer wave with a whole lot of awesome sets in general and we also got the temple of air jitsu set which is a contender for again one of the best Ninjago sets ever so 2015 was a pretty solid year for Ninjago, all things considered. We had a lot of really cool sets and really cool seasons, and I think a lot of people would agree that Season 4 and Season 5 are some of Ninjago's best. So 2015 is a contender for Ninjago's best year. The second year that I want to go ahead and look at is 2018 Ninjago, which, in my opinion, is also very well done. We had Sons of Garmadon coming off the back of the Ninjago movie, which a lot of people really didn't care for the Ninjago movie, but its influence was all over Sons of Garmadon. But the season itself kind of stepped away from from that and became its own thing and in my opinion it's one of the better ninjago seasons as well and again it had some amazing ninjago sets to go ahead and back it up and the actual storyline itself for sons of gromberdon was also very well done we had dan and kevin hagman back as the writers who were gone from the show for a little while but when they came back they came back in a very strong way and sons of gromberdon basically started off the year very strong coming into the summer wave of 2018 we had the ninjago hunted line of sets for season nine and these guys were also very well done too. The actual storyline for season 9 itself was a great continuation of season 8 and it was a good, I guess, second part in the Oni and Dragon trilogy which would continue into the next year to follow but the season 9 sets definitely stood on their own as well and it's easily one of the most unique seasons of all time at least in terms of comparing, I guess the content of the season to other Ninjago seasons. It's very unique and just overall 2018 was a very solid year for Ninjago because we had two very solid seasons with a large array of very solid Ninjago sets to follow. Now the next year that I want to go ahead and talk about the third and final I guess contender for the best Ninjago year is definitely this year 2020. Now a lot of people might look at 2020 as a very poor year in general and I would agree a lot of the stuff that's going on this year isn't all that great whatsoever and it's actually a pretty much a living hell but in general with Ninjago stuff it's actually been pretty good. We had Prime Empire earlier this year for the winter wave of 2020 and those sets talk about unique. They absolutely blew the rest of Ninjago out of the water in terms of uniqueness. The actual video game setting was outstanding to me personally, and the actual season itself was a big step up of the previous one. Now, of course, later on in the year, we had 2020's, I guess, second wave of Ninjago, that being Master of the Mountain. Now, this season is one of the most recent ones, and maybe it's just stuck in my mind because of how recent I watched it, but this season is incredible from front to back. I love season 13 so much. It's easily a big improvement at least to me over season 12 and that's saying a lot because prime empire was pretty good all things considered but master of the mountain i thought was really well done as well cole finally had his own season and that was incredible and in general the sets look pretty good the sets are actually not out in the united states as of yet but a lot of people have had them and a lot of people i guess have given their thoughts on them and i've seen a lot of people's thoughts on them and i've created my own thoughts on them as well and i think it's safe to say that the season 13 line of sets are also very well done and very unique much like the Prime Empire stuff was. So in general, guys, the actual, I guess, three contenders that I have for the best year of Ninjago has got to be 2015, 2018, and 2020. But if I were to go ahead and pick just one, I would honestly say that 2015 is probably the best year for Ninjago. Just overall, content-wise, set-wise, I guess, nostalgia-wise as well to me personally. And again, I just feel like 2015 is the definitive, I guess, best year of Ninjago. But of course, that's just my opinion. Let me know down below in the comments what you think 
think the best year of Ninjago was and leave all your thoughts below what you thought of my listings and again just any other thoughts that you had regarding the subject matter of this video or the video itself please let me know down below in the comments what you think well, with all that being said be sure to like comment subscribe do all that fun stuff and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media as always big shout out goes out to my patreon supporters including once again the marvelous jan thank you guys so much for watching this video once again my name is tana fishies and with that i bid you farewell